I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. So it seems uh, like a daily thing. You get a glimpse of what a crumbling republic looks like, and this week has been no different. All right, um, it's been you know just just example after example, starting uh, Wednesday, um, and uh, that being uh, the, you know fresh off the heels of the DOJ's failed attempt at getting Hunter Biden's plea deal to include blanket immunity and in perpetuity. And yes, you heard that shit right. Use your leftist censorious fucking Googles and find it for yourself, right? But uh, his ex-business partner scheduled to testify in front of Congress as far as details pertaining to his knowledge of Joe Bryden's fucking involvement in Hunter's overseas dealings. But uh, the DOJ, being the reptilian slime shitbag it is, um, not, not to let a chance to show corruption pass them by, um, come out and sent a letter to the judge, you know, a judge presiding in New York say, uh, demanding that Archer turn himself in to serve a year sentence on a fraud charge he was found guilty of in 2018. Okay, so five years ago, but as of the last 48 hours, they need him to come serve that sentence right fucking now, right? Why, you may ask? Pretty obvious to intimidate this guy and to protect the bribins, which has become, you know, serious habit as of late for the DOJ. Um, you know, we got a few pissed off congressmen right now. Uh, Matt Gates saying that uh, an emergency meeting is called to start an investigation into, uh, uh, you know, the DOJ's attempt to basically obstruct justice or, or to bring, you know, things that need justice to light at the least. Uh, saying that uh, either Archer will be in that seat come Monday or fucking Garland will. Right? And I'm referring, you know, back to the week as far as the DOJ. I mean, you see they also dropped uh, the, the campaign finance violation charges on Sam Bakeman fried which is obviously going to drastically reduce uh, the, the sentence this guy's going to get. Uh, you know, and th th it's not the first of the charges that they've already dropped. Not to mention, this guy's paying tens of thousands of dollars for legal representation, but he's guilty of stealing billions of dollars. How, if you steal billions, how the fuck do you have tens of thousands? Fuck, think about that for a second. And then the next, the very next day, they roll out new charges on the old Trump sickles uh, pertaining to his attempt at wiping a server, when of course we know Killary absolutely wiped a server using bleach bit and uh, her and her assistants destroying blackberries with hammers. And again, that's something that has been fact-checked repeatedly. That's something you can find footage of being checked for fact checked in real time and uh you know it's 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 real do holy field but yet uh no charges were ever brought right um you know so it tells you that it's not only the bribins doj but it's been the doj since 2000 you know what have you this all actually began in 2014 so the Obamas are directly involved uh Joe Biden being the vice president had no real power of his own Anything that was, you know, brought about had to go through Obama's approval. Right? So who are they really protecting? You guys tell me. Like, share, subscribe. Come on by. Just tell me to fuck off. Smell you later. Blackberries with hammers in the State Department. That's not what yes. won the president. Actually, Evan, 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 hold on. Can you fact check that? Hang on, that hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Evan Perez. Hammers, fact check that for me, please, on the fly. Uh, yes, they did, Brooke. I, as so. as, uh, <laughs> as did. you mentioned, there were uh, 13 devices, mobile devices, and five iPads that uh, the FBI said that you know, in some way, were used with with her private email server. And they did, in some cases, just destroy them with hammers when they were done using them. We're not against the Republicans. We're not against the Republicans. We are. We are against those MAGA thugs. 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 Thugs.